Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello, welcome back. And this is really getting difficult to get used to. Well, I think she means it feels weird because we're so used to holding microphones. And, yeah. Um, you know, we did have a comment that, you know, internal mics are found in laptops. Yeah, they are. But this we one, never had it with this one right. before. And, you know, this is an old laptop, really. It's like five, six years old. It might even be older than that. Um, and the thing is, too, with OBS Studio, you have to set everything to a certain setting. You have to pick which microphone and stuff. There was never an option for an internal mic. And so very curious. But the guides have said that this is them tracking us. Not necessarily everybody's going to get this, but people that they want to track uh, will have this type of thing going on. And you were saying if we didn't have OBS Studio, we wouldn't even know. No, we would never know that it was there. If we didn't have OBS on where I could see it showing the mic is active. And uh, it's just curious mm -hmm. to say the least. So prices of raw materials from metal, foods, everything, wood, uh, it's all skyrocketing. Everything is going through the roof. And, you know, it's interesting, too, because you have the mainstream saying that optimism is hitting record highs. Well, I think a lot of people are just glad to be able to just live a little bit more normal i mean mm -hmm. it, you know we love it yeah. we, we love being able to you know go out and sit at a sidewalk cafe and you know just take in the sun sunshine and people watch mm -hmm. and see what how everybody's doing mm -hmm. but you know of course that's going to make people feel good if we get off of uh, that lockdown situation that we found ourselves in but some countries are still in tremendous lockdown mm -hmm. some states even uh, but look at these commodities, corn, copper, aluminum, lumber. It's going through the roof. I mean, way through the roof. From steel, copper, corn, lumber, commodities started 2021 with a bang, surging to levels not seen in years. The rally threatens to raise the cost of goods from the lunchtime sandwich to gleaming skyscrapers. Everything is going up. Of course, the housing market is crazy and through the roof. Uh, you know, the one that we were interested in. There's actually, um, we were we were like the third offer on it, you know, at, at that all kind of came in at the same time. And, uh, you know, ended up at, as so many, I think I saw like 40% of houses are going for over, over the asking price now. So commodities are going through the roof. You got to just ask yourself, who is benefiting from all this? Now, I was watching today... Uh, just a horrible situation going on in Colombia with people taken to the streets and being pushed back in lethal ways. Very, very, very sad situation. There's nothing in the stores there. Of course, we expect that in Venezuela. Uh, but Colombia, their next door neighbor is getting hammered like that. And, you know, many people are talking about what's it going to be like here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, China, a crucial source of supply and demand for raw materials is playing a big role, particularly as the government tries to reduce production of key metals like steel and aluminum. It's also buying up massive amounts of grains. Food prices are being affected as poor weather in key growing nations like Brazil and France hits harvests. We talked about the grapes. It's, it's everything we look at really across the board. And yeah, certain countries are buying up everything. Certain countries are, are just not shipping things either. Natural gas prices in Europe spike to January levels in mid-fall in stockpiles. Look at what we had happened uh, here in Texas. And, you know, priority one for us is, is going to be alternative sources of heating if there is no grid available. So, you know, going to be looking for one or two wood-burning stoves. Mm -hmm. Uh, right away, away as well as other options too. Mm -hmm. Most to, definitely. To stay warm, you got to stay warm. Mm -hmm. So we were saying, who's benefiting? Well, in the first 100 days of the new admin, America's riches boosted their fortunes by $195 billion. The disparity between the haves and have-nots is just skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. Skyrocketing, especially since we've, you know, come across this whole global situation. 
Combined net worth of the top 100 ultra-rich people in the U.S. skyrocketed $195 billion since we had a switch of admins. Now, you know, if you go back over that whole year like we had, had talked about, it was the best year ever for billionaires. Mm -hmm. Most people, it was one of the worst years they've ever had being so locked down. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually got questioned when I was doing my taxes on, you know, like deductions from the bank saying, what? well, you know, you're not deducting any meals or anything like you used to. Well, because everything was locked down. <laughs> there was nowhere to go, you know. Hey, hello. What are you going to do? You know, some states were just so locked down. There, there's no restaurants open. There wasn't. Mm -hmm. You know, some states, not so bad. You know, but where we were, there was nothing. There was nothing. There was nothing to do. Right. And and so a lot of people were going stir crazy, but but not the billionaires. They just keep racking it up, racking it in, racking it up. Mm -hmm. As you can see right here, I'm not going to say that that one word. Um, you know, there's a lot of farms around. Yeah. Hey, Many. Uh, mm -hmm. And big tech. I mean, it it really. Hmm, things that make you say, uh-huh, mm -hmm. yep. And meanwhile, we have a billionaire that's buying up a small Colorado town. Locals are freaked out. Well, you know, you get some of these billionaires, they could probably buy a whole state almost. Mm -hmm. They're <laughs> having know? a good time. I wonder how much Wyoming's going for right now. I know. They will be able to. And meanwhile, you know, average people won't be able to afford hardly anything. Violent storm hits China's Jiangsu province, claims lives of 11 people, left 102 injured, 6,000 houses gone, and thousands of crops destroyed as usual. That's the always the end. So many crops destroyed. Mm -hmm. And more problems with the food shortage that's looming. And we see more flaming meteors as well. This was in Oman. That's a bright one. And then we have one in Collier County, Florida, as well. And uh, I'm going to jump over here. By the way, they did find gigantic bones of a mammoth in the Peace River over in Arcadia. And, you know, again, that was one of my target areas when I was thinking Florida. I was going to head to Arcadia because it's inland enough, a little bit higher enough. You can find property there. Well, they're finding mammoth bones, four foot, four foot long, 50 pound bone that's well over 10,000 years old. Look at that. Mm, that's actually gorgeous. Boy, Zeke would like that. Yeah, throw that on the Barbie. Mm -hmm. But not just that. They've also gotten a saber toothed tiger wow. teeth as well. So the situation was a lot different in Florida 10,000 years ago. But you know what? Florida was there. Yep. It was there. You got all these bones there. Mm -hmm. And it's also interesting to see the bones of people that originated in France, in Florida, from thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's something we haven't talked enough about is, you know, one of the channels, like, we don't get to watch too, too much, but we do uh, check out Robert Seffer and Atlantean Gardens because I love that stuff. Um, there's another channel too, Masaman, M-A-S-S-A-M-A-N. If you're into trying to figure out the migrations of the different humanoid tribes that have been on this world, the, you know, because it really is fascinating, fascinating. We were watching um, a show and it was talking about the people over in this one Indonesian island. And you would think that, you know, you were in Africa. But then you have other islands over there that are populated with, by people, and I don't even know what the political term is, uh, you know, so I won't even say it, but from different backgrounds. Because, you know, the political, proper pol political terminology for different races changes, you know, from time to time. That, that whole thing is so mixed up and twisted. It's just that that whole thing that were sold everybody out of africa and just nat natural adaptation from there i don't buy it for a second not for a second 
And what we got from the Galactics were that, you know, there's many different humanoid beings that were here in like Atlantis time. Atlantis was kind of like a UN on a galactic way and a galactic level. There were people here from all different star systems, all different planets. And, you know, don't you think that that's why we have some differences in the races? Mm -hmm. You want to share any thoughts? Well, you know, when I got that, when I got that show um, about all the different races and all the different beings, everybody, when I was looking at it, everybody was just so at ease with each other, too. I mean, there was like stores and stuff that were opened up like, you know, uh, look like flea markets is what I could see. And different beings, you know, selling things behind the the, uh, the tables of the flea markets. It was just so common. Okay, so did you pick up, I wonder if you picked up, was it more of a barter and trade situation or was there a certain currency? I, I feel it was more barter and trade. And let's pray that we head back to that type of situation soon, because that takes power away from a central authority. Durango woman attacked, walking her dogs. They found her dead, unfortunately. This is in Durango, Colorado, southern Colorado, right down there. So the bears were euthanized and sent to Fort Collins for necropsy, um, partially consumed from what the officials said. You know, dangerous. You yeah. just never know. I, and I said to Cindy today, I said, I feel a lot safer walking in this area, even though it says there's a lot of different wildlife. Um, particularly when we were in New Mexico, it felt creepy, honestly. Yeah, it there, It felt strongly cryptid. We could we could sense uh, things like skinwalkers and, you know, trooper and cabras on a regular basis, as well as see mm -hmm. cougar tracks constantly, mm -hmm. um, even perhaps bear that you know it felt way more dangerous there than it does here though you know there there are a lot of predator animals here too mm -hmm. um but we pray for the poor family of this lady uh 39 and just walking the dogs it's really sad it is so sorry for her family and her so 1.8 million years old human habitation in a south african cave what do you bet that they were doing a little digging there for their anunnaki buddies <laughs> most likely yeah yep wonder work cave site in south africa it's one of the very few places on earth where human activity can be traced back almost two million years so we're being warned of a martian plague bringing mars samples to earth may cause a devastating pandemic so say the scientists well, you know, how about all the uh, rocks that are down in Antarctica that they say were actually perhaps even from Mars mm -hmm. and brought here uh, just through normal processes? And how about perhaps the plague of the Martians themselves when they actually came from there to here? Mm -hmm. How about that Martian plague? I know, a lot of stuff we just don't know. Hey, Gigi, are you mm -hmm. listening? I think <laughs> you are. I know you are. And scientists want to introduce self-disseminating Vs to combat infectious diseases that originate in wild animals. So kind of like, you know, if, if you put it in a few of them, it'll go on its own. And let's just leave that right there. I think yeah. I think I should be able to pick up what that's being laid down mm -hmm. there. I know you guys are... are really on top of things and by the way and this is from mount etna beauty after the storm look at that is that not spectacular volcanic wow you know volcanic ash rock emissions can be ultimately um something that will make for great growing conditions later on mm -hmm. nature has a way of renewing herself and mother nature is going to renew herself in one way, shape, or form. And the planet will turn into another Garden of Eden after the end of this current regime that's been here on this planet for thousands mm -hmm. of years. After they are gone, then she will renew. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful thing? Those are beautiful, yep. Thank you guys for being part of the family. Make sure you are subscribed to both channels. Thanks for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. We couldn't do it without you guys. Lots of new things will be coming up as soon as we get our butt settled, which hopefully will happen in the next week or two. 
We hope, we hope, we hope we're putting that intention out. Please do send your prayers for us as well. It's been a long ride and we're ready to uh, plop down a little bit. We are. And then share some things about growing and Mm -hmm. growing in small spaces and Mm -hmm. thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. As always, guys, God bless and namaste. Namaste.